I have beef with the drugstore and I'm going to talk all about it today while I do my eyeshadow with you guys. So I went to the drugstore recently and I didn't realise that it had upgraded into a luxury beauty price outlet. Um, since when did that happen? I missed that. I missed that little infomercial there. I guess I'm just a little bit out of the loop when it comes to makeup. Um, what? <laughs> makeup has got so expensive recently and today I want to talk about why I think that is. The downfall of like cheap makeup brands. I've noticed a lot of brands, Revolution, who have decided to leave their affordable roots behind and go into more expensive sub-brands like what is going on? <laughs> but just before I do jump into the video, I start ranting and I do a beautiful eye look. You know what to do, like and subscribe. I upload every single day and I know people are gonna shout at me for that because I've spoken about it, but I will speak about it later on. Just put a pin in that. I do bright, fun, colorful makeup and also project panning. So if that sounds like a good time to you, then definitely stick around. And also let me know your thoughts on this topic as well, because I'm really interested. Everyone has very different thoughts and opinions about this and if you have different opinions let everyone know down below. I love discussion. I love reading your guys's comments so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be using one of my favorite drugstore eyeshadow palettes today. This is the NYX Ultimate Jean Baby Palette and as always everything on my face, everything that I use and talk about will be linked down below. All right let's jump in into it. So I'm gonna start with this super dark blue at the bottom here. So I went in to the drugstore the other day and the prices are crazy. I remember back in the good old days, back in my day when I was a wee child, you could go into the drugstore, get a palette for a few pounds. It'll have like some browns in it, boring, probably not very good quality. And you would use that every single day to go to school for about 10 years and it'd last you fine. Now, a palette is like six pound minimum. And even that is gonna be bad quality on clearance. So um, I... I don't know what is going on, but please can someone explain where the drugstore got the cheek to do that. There are still some brands doing God's work. So like e.l.f. is a really, really good brand. They have increased their prices slightly, but they are still pretty uh, affordable in the grand scheme of things. And their quality is still quite good. So thank you, e.l.f. Love you. MUA is also quite a good drugstore brand. I really, really like them. But I've noticed a lot of the kind of upper class drugstore brands so like Maybelline, L'Oreal, Rimmel, even Revolution have been really upping their prices recently and in this economy we're in a cozy living crisis babe. Okay I'm gonna go in with this it's not really lighter but it's like a more saturated blue and I'm only gonna do that on the outer part of this look. So I do have a few theories and to be honest, I'm going to be a boomer and I'm going to blame social media. I'm doing it. I never thought I'd see the day. Here I am. If you don't die a hero, you live long enough to become the villain. That is what you say. I'm now on the boomer's side. I'm blaming social media, the internet, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. That bloody TikTok. I have talked so much about my hatred for TikTok. Wow, I really am a boomer. <laughs> But I was thinking about like my mum's makeup collection and I'm sure like your mum's makeup collection or just like people of that age group, they buy a foundation, they use the foundation and then they buy a replacement when they run out of the foundation. I feel like through social media, it's become normalized to have a super crazy makeup collection. And I cannot say anything. I recently did an inventory video. I'll link it up in the cards. I counted every single piece of makeup that I own 
it's a lot. It's a lot. So I cannot say anything because I also have a huge makeup collection. But I feel like that is so normalized to have like 50 eyeshadow palettes. Like that's the norm. You don't really see many people with only like two or three palettes. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this lighter matte blue on a bit more of a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna start blending the outer part of this look. But yeah, you don't really see many people with a few palettes these days. All of my friends all have like multiple eyeshadow palettes, multiple foundations, multiple this, multiple that. And that's a very, very new thing in the grand scheme of things. And I really think that drugstore makeup and makeup companies in general have definitely noticed that and are really pushing that. I feel like makeup has almost become a bit of a status symbol in the past few years. Like how much makeup do you own? Do you have the latest things? How many palettes do you have? All that kind of stuff. And it is kind of crazy, the collector mentality of that I find, because that kind of mindset is comparable to like cars or houses or like huge luxury things. No one walks into someone's house and is like, how many highlighters do you have? And I'm meaning like um, pen highlighters, not makeup highlighters, you know? Or no one walks in and goes like, I don't know, I'm trying to look around my, <laughs> my room. It's only really luxury things that people have that kind of mindset with. And makeup has definitely become one of those things. And I feel like because that hype is so strong right now and everyone wants to have a mini bloody Sephora in their makeup drawer, makeup companies can kind of charge what they want and especially drugstore companies can start competing with high-end prices because they know it's gonna sell. Makeup has become this kind of luxury experience even if you're not paying a hundred pound for a palette, even if you are paying like this palette, it's 14 pound, which I think that's expensive for the drugstore. 14 pound, that's a pretty penny. But people are buying it because it is trendy. It's the trend now. Then I'm gonna keep this same fluffy brush and just go in with this lighter blue just to blend those edges very, very lightly. But one of the reasons that I started watching Project Panning content is because I had been indoctrinated by the beauty gurus of 2018 and when they show their like huge ridiculous makeup collection and I thought, wow, I need to buy all this makeup and of course I'm gonna go to the drugstore. As like a broke college student, I'm not gonna be buying Natasha Denona palettes to bulk out my collection, absolutely not. I'm gonna go to the drugstore, I'm gonna buy like 20 Revolution palettes because that's what Laura Lee told me to do. I'm gonna go in with this darkest brown matte and I'm gonna start popping that on my inner crease. I think it's almost less about the quality of the makeup and it's more just about having makeup you know? Then I'm gonna take this brown next to it and just really blend that right up to my brow and into the blue as well. One of the reasons that I really got into project panning when I did is because I was definitely a victim of all of this craze when it came to makeup, buying, spending, all that kind of stuff, accumulating, collecting. And the thought of using something up that I'd actually spent my money on, revolutionary. Who knew that you could actually use up makeup that you spent your hard-earned money on? Not me. So I got into project panning and that definitely helped me get out of that mindset. But I feel like there are just so many people, like young people especially, getting into this trap of like, I've got to buy every single new makeup release. I've got to buy every Revolution palette, every drugstore palette. And because the demand is so high, the drugstore can just charge whatever they want because they know people are gonna buy it. I'm gonna use my blue P. Louise base. This is in the shade Touch of Frost. It does make me really sad when a new makeup release is coming out and like the quality is just like, awful, especially when prices are so high. I remember when I was younger, um, the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced, 
that was my awakening moment when it came to influencers and makeup prices in general. I saved up for that mascara because all of the YouTube girlies were telling me that it is going to change my life and I bought it and it was awful. But more young people are experiencing that because now a drugstore mascara is 18 pound, which is the same as what I bought the Too Faced mascara for. But there are, of course, other dangers when it comes to the rising price of makeup, and that's like counterfeits and things like that. Everyone wants the newest thing, but no one wants to pay the price. I get it. Oh my god, I get it. Makeup is so expensive. And when having the newest makeup comes with that social status thing as well, of course everyone's going to want the newest thing. So they're going to turn to counterfeit products. And I watched a documentary the other day about what goes into counterfeit products and please never buy, ever, ever, ever buy counterfeit products because holy moly that was rough to watch there is absolutely no regulation when it comes to counterfeit products so they could put anything in it there's like feces in it there's bacteria in it that oh people get eye infections and people's lips get like glued shut oh the thought of that actually keeps me up at night <laughs> i can honestly see the makeup market going one of two ways Either it just keeps getting more expensive because the demand is there and it is a luxury, you know? Makeup, having this huge makeup collection is definitely a luxury and people are willing to spend their disposable income on feeling great, looking great, you know, all that stuff. Or, and I'm talking about the English kind of economic thing right now, we are, of course, in a cost of living crisis and I just don't think people have the money to be blowing 50 pound on three palettes from the drugstore, you know? I'm hoping that in this economy, we see a rise of more affordable drugstore makeup again, because that's what the drugstore is for. The drugstore is like a gateway into, you know, high-end makeup, or if you wanted a cheap mascara, go to the drugstore. But now it's like competing with high-end and it's absolutely insane. And no one has the money to do that anymore. Are you serious? Like. Rent's expensive. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with this dark blue shimmer at the bottom here. And I'm gonna tap that on my outer cut crease. And then for the rest of my cut crease, I'm gonna go in with this shade. This is the shade I'm trying to hit pan on in my project level up right now. So hopefully I can hit pan on it soon. I'm thinking that update has already gone live, I think. So go and check that out. But honestly, it depends on when I hit pan on this shade. I've been loving pairing this shade with neutrals recently. It's like a white with a hint of blue in it. It's been gorgeous. I do think that there are some drugstore brands that are upping their quality and that is why their prices have got so expensive. And like, I kind of understand that. But there are also brands that just are continuing to pump out the same quality products but they're seeing the markup from other brands and going, oh, we'll do that, that's fine, and it's not. I just find it crazy that the difference, the price difference between drugstore and high-end makeup is so close. Like, a Natasha Denona lipstick is what, like 23 pound? If you go to the drugstore, you can find lipsticks for like 19. Like, that's insane to me. This cut crease is so uneven. Um. Please excuse me for a sec while I try and figure this out. I know that obviously there's things like inflation, but like, hey, I'm just a girl on the internet. I'm not equipped to talk about that at all. But it doesn't really account for the quality of these products. If it was inflation, then we would be seeing a lot more change in like high-end brands as well. There's a fly. Wow, okay. <laughs> You go, girl. I'm just, it makes me a bit mad. I think that's what I'm trying to get at. It does make me a little bit mad that brands can just charge what they want for bad quality products. And I'm not saying that all drugstore is bad quality. Please don't get that twisted. It's more of a risk at the drugstore. Like even this eyeshadow palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. Look at this look. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. 14 pounds though. <gasps> for NYX. Like NYX is known for like upping prices. Do you remember those four pound lip glosses? I swear they're like nine now. Excuse me? I just feel like I personally would rather shop 
at the more like bougie brands now because the difference really isn't that much. This guy though will always have my back. I think this is still like $3.99 such a good mascara. Big shout out to brands like Essence and MUA and e.l.f. things like that because they got our back. They got our back. Good quality, affordable price and like I wouldn't even be that mad if the markup for makeup wasn't so ridiculously expensive. Like you guys are billionaires. Give us a three pound lipstick, you know? You're still making like two pound on it. Maybe these big companies have realized how much markup they can get away with now. What was the last product you bought from the drugstore that made you stop and go, what the actual hell is going on? Like for me, lashes. Why are lashes so expensive now? Like 12 pound for some little la- what? No, that is not happening. I'm thinking of going to Primark at the weekend. And like, I know Primark's not ethical in the slightest, so please ignore me for that. Let's pretend I'm going somewhere else. I'm gonna go buy lashes from an unknown brand um, because they're cheap. They're still like three pound for a pair of lashes. And I can wear the same pair of lashes for honestly like two months. <laughs> I look after them very, very well. So oh, even that, it's just, it's sad. It's sad. I'm also going to see if they've got their Lion King fluffy trousers in stock as well. Because they never have my size. Being a size six is so hard. <laughs> Poor me. They never have size six in. Nowhere ever has size six in. These lashes are pretty manky, but they're going to have to do for today because they're the only ones left that aren't literally falling apart. So here we go. Uh, I've not done my lips whoops hang on bear with we're not quite done yet i just used my morphe uh what is this for evs i've been using this literally for evs so you'd think that i would remember the name of it but no i don't have much of this left which kind of scares me really does because i love this so much but here we go this is my look i quite like it it's very me it's back to my roots you know blue and neutrals very very me a hundred percent i really do love this palette so much even if it was four 14 pounds like excuse me uh what <laughs> what do you think of drugstore makeup recently do you disagree with me do you think that it's a fair markup price definitely let me know and we can have a discussion down in the comments do you agree with everything that i said have you bought a drugstore product recently that has been way too expensive and the quality has been abysmal that would be very interesting because then you can tell us all what to avoid because we all need that my P. Louise base is leaking and I don't have a tissue with me. Um, so I don't really know what to do with that. That's good. I'm just going to leave it there and hope for the best. <laughs> So this is it for this video today, guys. Do you like my eyeshadow? I think it came out really, really pretty. This is where I'm gonna love you and leave you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.